And we're back! What may have been a journey of several days for you guys has been but a moment for us. So, uh, you know, once again, I am the Devil with White Wings, and this is... Wolf Soul, and yes, that is the miracle of internet time travel. Woo! And Wolf Soul here is having, doing his wonderful playthrough through Resident Evil 4, but he does kind of suck, so give him a little <laughs> bit of leeway, guys. I am severely out of practice. Alright, let's do this thing. Let's do, do it! Through the spooky door. Yes, it was a future armor reference. Okay. Hey, remember? I was just wondering why you were putting on Leon, that silly voice. How you holding up? Remember yeah, the spooky question. door? Like, you're at a place which is adjacent to another place. You know, uh, some more stuff. I'll take a look yeah, at it. looking at the spooky door, you know? This, this scientist. Is horrible. The worst rendition I've ever seen. Yes, it's bad. No, we don't need the manual. Come on. You know, it would have been nice to have this, you know, earlier. Maybe in the menu screen. In the, in the how to play? That would have been a good Yeah, good in place the how to play. play. We'll show you the how to play one time. It's horrible. Ooh, Ooh. it's look. I don't think I wanted to look at this. Huh. Yeah, I didn't want to look at that. Do, do we ever use the binoculars again? Uh, I think maybe later on in Act 5? But at I'm least... I don't remember them ever again. Uh, what did they do? Did they pull one of the guys out and the other guy was hitting the re you know, reverse? Oh, oh, sorry, hitting the drive to not get pushed off the cliff? Or are they saying that they pulled this guy out of the river that we were at not like 20 seconds ago? Yeah, but how did they get down it along with the rest of the uh, ruined truck? Because, well, we know how that one got out there. They just drove over. Yeah, but how did they get this? Good. Look, okay, they, enough. Let's not care. Let's just assume that this is a different cop and get on with our lives. Oh, look, we're facing... West. <laughs> the most useful compass in the world. Okay, let's do this uh, pro strats way. <laughs> is this as fast as we can run? Yep. Ugh. Lean. Marathon, not sprint. <laughs> oh yeah, unlike Chris, who's always like... <sighs> well, to My be arms fair, are the size of cantaloupes, I can't run Yeah, I'm far. pretty sure he's doing steroids. Yeah, he's definitely doing um, anaerobic exercise instead of aerobic exercise. Yes. Yeah. Where Leon is the more. S yeah. No! It was our window! Screw windows right now. Okay, uh, forget that because that's not worth the issue right now. Woo! Shoddy! And an eight. This one wasn't in a bird. What's up with that? Bye bye! <laughs> Oh dear, that's a bad sound. Let's get, let's get the hell out of here. I'm surprised you didn't just dive through. All right, Nathan, what's your strat? I call it the hide like a bitch where they can only come at me one direction strat. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. So what's the trigger on this thing anyway? Like this whole event where they're rushing at you is pretty much endless, I believe, until something. Yeah, until we kill a certain amount of them. Mm. And during that time, I will be switching to both the shotgun and the grenades at certain points. Really? You're gonna waste a grenade here? Uh, if necessary, yes. Alright. I'm gonna slow him down if you're gonna do that. Aha! Mr. Oh dear. Alright, shotty time. Oh, right in the face. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh that was a close one. Thankfully, Is he... Is he... Oh, you knocked him off the roof! <laughs> yes, we did. Alright, so we don't have to worry about Mr. Chainsaw for a few minutes. Which makes me rather happy. Give me your friends! Another reason why I like coming up here. Yeah, they can't come at you from behind. Oh god. Shotty. And I'll use one of these again. For those of you out there who have never played Resident Evil 4, ammo conservation is uh, real important. Like, I'm not even joking. If you run out of ammo, you are screwed. And it is relatively scarce, unless you're really, really, really conserving it. See, he's not down yet. No, but I've got enough to get the second wave in. <sighs> Wait for it. Wait for it. White to their eyes, Nathan. White to their eyes. <laughs> Look at him back. <laughs> Synchronized dodging. <laughs> yep. And you even got a little thing there of uh, getting to see our lovely, as named, 
though later on discovered, not really named, Dr. Salvador. Yeah, uh, Dr. Salvador. Mr. Chainsaw. Looks like he's down for the count now, though. Yep. Money! 10,000 gold for killing a man with a chainsaw. Honestly. Jesus, carrying two bars of gold bullion will really beef you up. Yeah, um, honestly, if you're carrying two bar, you know, $10,000 worth of gold around with you, you know, I... 2,000 two whatever the currency of this particular area is. Well, 10,000, but, right. yeah. Uh, you, sir, can afford more than a chainsaw. <laughs> you kicked him so hard his head came off. Yeah, once we've actually gone through this section, uh... Well, I'll show you around some of the other areas where you can attempt to make last stands here and explain the reasons why you never want to. <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. Not like it's going to waste our time or anything. Well, I've got to do it anyway. Stop so protecting your face, Jim. Uh -huh. I've got to do it anyway because... Shit. Nathan, come on. Brilliant. Come on. I may just die here because of my own stupidity. Well, you've got herb. Just smoke some weed, you'll be fine. No, I'm saving that one. Damn, I love the shotgun so much. <laughs> yeah. I'm saving that one for a specific no. reason. Ah, oh, right in the face. You... Oh, wait, you have, you have spray. You have spray. God, I really feel like a jackass now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm never going to get over what the shotgun does. Just get me some room to reload. Just vaporizes the heads. Some more room to reload. Well, I don't need to reload there, but you know. It kind of makes me wish that uh, this game had realistic reload. So if you reloaded when you still had like six bullets left, in your... come on, Nathan. When you still had six bullets left in your gun, like you'd lose those six bullets. I think I'm nearing the end of this. Oh. For sake, I am really bad. Ah, this is such fun. Okay, back off, turn around. Get shot in the face. <laughs> you know, I remember the t back in the days when I used to just oh, run through this area, shotgun stuff, but open knife everyone else. Yeah, knife strats were the best, man. Yeah. Remember the uh, pistol knife challenge? I remember that Which challenge. was going through the entire Te game. Technically, it was the knife challenge because it only used the pistol for a single boss fight, which could not be completed with the knife. No. Every other boss fight in this game, every other enemy, can be defeated with nothing but a trusty pocket knife. Including one of them where the knife is better. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, no, seriously. We we'll get to that when we're a little yeah. bit closer. <laughs> Now, time to go collect some stuff to make up for my stupidity. Ooh, by the way, fellas, if I didn't mention this... Oh, look, title screen. Yeah. Ah, we're only, uh... What is that, 25 minutes into the record? So, um, I should probably mention that if you ever hear an annoying, loud, buzzing sound coming in through the mic, that's kind of out of my control. I live in Australia and it's summer. Yeah. We have this little bug called cicadas every fucking year. It makes the most horrendous, horrible noise all the time. Just a wall of sound that you cannot escape from. <laughs> I love that. I barricaded that door. And then you just kicked it in. Alright, so now Nathan's going through his kleptomania stage. Hey, in this game, I will take whatever I can get. Will you take, um, I don't know, salt and pepper? No, because for some reason we see no point in that. Hmm. How did you miss that earlier? You kleptoed your way through this entire room earlier and didn't take the money. Uh, at the time, the shotgun shells and the shotgun were more important. Hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that... Not that one. It's a portrait. Yeah. Uh, Alright, Nathan, so you said you were going to give us the uh, the penny ante tour of this town. Okay. One man up, show us around. Well, a lot of the areas are just, you know, random shit, but I was going to show the, like, the one or two other places where a person could make a stand and the reason why they're bad. Let's start off with Death Trap number one. Okay. In here. This nice little uh, house, you know only one entrance which can be barricaded 
the locked door which you can easily open leading to another room with only one entrance that this time can't be barricaded but it's a metal door so they can't break through it normally. Mm -hmm. Why is this a bad place? Can't barricade the door? Well yeah and there's no exit. So essentially if Dr. Salvador comes through and you don't have your shotgun ready, which you, you're a bit fucked. Yeah, there is no shotgun in here unlike the other place and another good reason why the other place, the place where I actually really sucked is good. All along there, all along that roof, I can drop down at any point. And escape. Like I, the coward you are. Hey, it's called survival horror for a reason. You know, the first word there is survival. More handgun ammo, since for some reason these guys all seem to have the same brand of, you know, ammunition. Well, to be fair, your average handgun takes a fairly standardized cartridge, so... And how many different uh, kind of people, well, how many different companies make that ammunition? It doesn't really matter, it's a standardized cartridge. Yeah, but that's the thing. All of these have the same, you know, that same red, red hawk. hawk. Yeah. yeah. And heavy field for Heavy the... weed. Still. He heavy weed. Yeah. For the shotgun, it's like... Does just the whole... this, Like, we had some of that ammo to start with. Well, tell me you're not going to kill Bessie. I'm not, not, gonna, not again. I'm not going to kill Bessie. It was funny the first time... You didn't see the first time people, so never mind that. Ooh, golden herb. Yeah. This was one of the things I was actually trying to keep my stuff for. Next time I get really messed up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, which will not only... Okay, mixing three greens will make a full heal. Mix a red and a green, you'll make a full heal. Mix a red, green, and yellow, you'll get a health improvement. And a full heal. Yeah, and if you mix heal. just a green and a yellow, it's just a health upgrade without the full heal. It's a, yeah. it's a minor heal, I believe. Yeah. It's like, you mix the herbs in different ways. Hmm, I should probably mention that uh, one of the big focuses of this game's mechanics is that limited inventory that Nathan just showed you. Bring it up again, man. So, you only have this much inventory. There are ways in the game to get a little bit more. And, of course, you do have that area over on the right that pops up whenever he picks something up. Which allows you to help, like, move things around yeah. and get things balanced. There will be times when Nathan will spend a solid 20 minutes and I will speed the footage the fuck up. Because he will just want to OCD his way through his inventory and make sure everything is lined up perfectly the way he wants it. Okay. Now, admittedly, this does give you a lot more room to put shit in. So, I can't be entirely against it, but it is really annoying, man. So, so very important. <laughs> Flashbangs. You'd assume that they wouldn't be a very effective uh, offensive weapon, wouldn't you? And you, you sir, would be dead are wrong. wrong. <laughs> but again, we'll get yeah. into that a little bit later when it's actually time. Yeah, here's a different way to enter the town if you want. So, like, going this way will mean that the guys in the main thing won't spot you for a little bit longer. But you still go into the same building and you still yeah. go into the same roof. Yeah, so. it's still, it's just you head over here, then people come after you. And you dive through the window, get the shotgun, dive back out, etc. Yeah. I should probably mention that if you do start this game on easy, you start with a shotgun and a significant amount more ammo than yeah. you start with on normal. But, yeah, easy some pussies. It also cuts off an area too later on in the game. Mm, I know. So like the harder areas in the game, yeah, you don't have to go there, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, this is also an area that I've heard people talk about using for... <laughs> I've seen this area used incredibly well. Yeah. Basically, you do what Nathan's doing right now. You stand at the top of the ladder and just shoot people off it as they try to climb up. And if you really want to go for it, throw it. You can knife them off as well. That, I think that's how the guy who did the knife only challenge <laughs> did it. Uh, small problem being that Salvatore, or Dr. Salvador, can't be knifed off the ladder. Dr. Yeah. Salvador, again, is the big guy with the, with the sack over his head wielding a chainsaw. Yeah. Which, ah, oh, that's a shame. We missed a trick there. We'll have to go back at some point and get footage of you being horribly, horribly murdered by Dr. Salvador. There's more chances later on. Yeah, true. Because as much as he may be Dr. Salvador, it ends up that that's a group, you know, title. Ooh, look! A note! Yeah. Let's get deeper into the intriguing story of this area. <laughs> How the fuck did they get pictures of you? How did they know that I was on the way? Yeah, even the cops who drove you here didn't know. Oh, Jesus, look at the time. Alright, as soon as we're done with this... Uh, a little bit, you guys can pause and read through this if you want. We are going to have to cut the episode because we're in serious danger of running long again. So, uh, that is it for today. We will be moving on very, mm. very shortly into the next area, which should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Memory serves. To be fair, this is probably the longest beginning area. 
The, the longest single chunk. Yeah. If, if you know what I mean. Between, like, rest periods. Yeah. Alright, so we will see you all tomorrow. I am the Devil with White Wings. I'm Wolf Soul. And good night. See ya.